Good morning. It's Monday. Uh, actually, I think this is video number 100. So we're going to call this the 400 hour mark. Um, as you see, the paint got slopped all over the underside. It looks not bad. And once it's sitting on the chassis, it's just to protect it. I wanted red. I'm tired of black. And I should have stuck with black. So I've got seam sealing to do, and I've got some clean, a little bit of cleaning to do. And once I get the seam seal and the cleaning done, then I will move forward with painting this. But I am going with rattle cans and maybe some undercoating, simply because it takes. It'll take me three days to get this, this little piece painted. And I frankly don't have the time, nor do I want to go to that effort of dealing with it. I thought about uh, spraying uh, as that's a good option. Again, if I dilute that paint with acetone, it may dry quicker, but I still don't have the time because it says recoat in 24 hours. So I gotta wait 24 hours for the next coat and another 24 hours. I want to park this back on the chassis so I can get back to finishing up the interior, the floor. And I got a whack of grinding to do and I really don't feel like doing it right now. Well, mind you, this part needs to be ground and a little bit back here needs to be ground right there. Just a touch up. And I got the box to do yet. So I've got lots and a seat to, uh, to frame up. So there's lots going on and three days of that. Well, mind you, no, I need this on the chassis. This truck has to run and move by the end of the week. So that's where we're going with that. I'm gonna rattle can it. And it's not like anything really touches that firewall anyway, other than me. So I'll get on with this silliness and uh, we shall see where we get. Wow. It looks so much better now that I've hidden all my sins. Incredible. I really like how that looks. Uh, yeah, it's getting redded. So, I need to wait an hour before I can spray the coating on, the uh, paint on. And what I'll do is like down in here, I'm not gonna bother painting that because it's reacting with the paint and I'm not gonna make it any worse. That's like solvent popping in some situations. So I'm gonna leave that. Maybe it'll heal. Uh, yeah, so back up into the uh, baking oven, into the paint oven, paint baking, cooking, hot zone. I'll put her back up there and it's warm, very warm up there, so. We'll get that up and uh, so I can't really work on anything on there. What can I work on? I got no welding gas, so I can't do any welding on stuff I want to do. Uh, yeah, <laughs> there's a, uh, unless I want to crawl up on the hoist and grind stuff, but that's not going to happen. That's my interior. Uh, I'm not going to get the chassis ready to roll in yet because that's only going to take me like 15 minutes to get it in here. So that's not a big deal. Uh, I know what I'll do. i got to search out the remainder of my cab mounts and make up something to go along with them. So that'll be my next... Uh, my next task, and we'll get on that. I gotta find my cab bolts. That'll be interesting. Anyway, bring you back in a bit.
story book anyways. Well, you be the witness, you be the judge. Um, the sin hider worked good. I was happy with how that turned out. And, you know, considering heater housing, steering column, brake booster, uh, engine block right here, from the top down, it won't look too bad. I'm not cleaning that stuff, by the way. Maybe if I ever get to a car walk. Well, maybe it will. It'll take me a minute or two. Okay, I'm gonna clean the heater, the heater box. And uh, in an hour, I should be able to mount it. Cause that's what I should do, is get the heater box in. Oy, I gotta think about this. Heater has to go from the inside. There's bolts that I have to get to. And then the AC housing on the outside. So the inside has to go on first. Yeah, I guess I'm not even gonna worry about dolling up that part in there. Maybe I'll just give it a quick shot right now and then I don't have to worry about it later. And then I can put the heater box in and hang the brake booster, things like that after the paint's dry. I gotta rework something to make that panel across here. I'm making a closer, a closure in there. So that'll be another part of it. I can do that once the, once the engine is in or it's on the body. So yeah, I just gotta, I'm gonna hit that with a bit of paint just because so it doesn't look so gaudy. And there's a panel going over it anyway. So we'll deal with that later. All right. Uh, yeah, just too much on the brain, that's all back in a bit well still in the baking oven um, that's the end of 90 bags of pellets so uh, summer better come tomorrow I don't need to dry any more paint for a few days so I'll be good but whatever's crunching in there it doesn't like whatever's left in the bottom You don't hear that when it's, uh, there might have been some debris in one of those bags of pellets. Anyway, I am going to call this a wrap for today so that paint can get nice and dry so I can assemble. And uh, as far as the underneath part goes, I did a little bit of stone guard. I'm not all that concerned. Um, I need to find the balance of my cab mounts. And uh, I guess I'll be gearing up to set this thing on the chassis with a little luck late tomorrow. We'll see. Anyway, uh, on that note, I'd like to thank you both for watching and uh, have a great day. We'll see you tomorrow. By the way, I believe this is video 100. I think I might have mentioned it sooner, like a while ago. I don't recall if I did or not. So thank you for your support and your great comments. Uh, I'm just going to keep going with this till it's done. Or until I run out of time. Like I said, I've got a, I've got a timeline I'm going to try and make it to. But I run out in three weeks. We'll see where I get. Three weeks. Not even. I need some days to prepare if this doesn't get it, make it to that point. I can almost see it working out, but we'll see. See you again soon.